Okay, so they think they lost the condenser fan motor on this one. They said it made a loud noise and it quit spinning. So we're gonna pop the cover off that contactor. The homeowner just got back and she's putting up some groceries right now. Oh, I need to get on House Call Pro and start my time here. There we go. Okay, let's see what happens. Fan motor spins, calls for a three microfarad capacitor. We're gonna check the capacitor. Power comes in here, nothing, nothing to ground, nothing to ground, okay. Let's see what we got here. Red is common. Blue is hermetic. And of course, brown is fan. Common to her. Wait, I don't even know what size this thing is. 35 3. 35 plus 3. Twenty six, so it's weak. Common to fan, two point nine. All right, we're gonna have to change the motor and the capacitor. Let's see what kind of motor we got here. We have a eighth horsepower. This might be a pancake motor too. Uh, what they call a 42 frame and I don't have that on the truck
Yeah, the bearings are gone in it. It's a 1075. Eighth horse, 1075. Emerson motor. This looks like a regular 48 frame motor to me. Yeah, frame. 48 right there. I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay, but I don't have an eighth horsepower and my uh, universal motor doesn't cover that. Okay. What I do is I measure the blade. 5 and a quarter. Something happened to my these this crescent. It is so hard to turn. I've lubricated it and everything and done that. Oh, that well, hell, that might have got it. This one should be easy. I'm gonna see if uh, my ICP store has the OEM one in stock. That would be really nice. Try some pliers. There we go. She's a coming. She's a coming. There she is. Let me call uh, my ICP store, which is also my Ream store, and see if they've got the OEM. All right, guys, this the OEM motor is no longer available on this unit. So, um, and nobody, nobody in town has an eighth horsepower motor in stock, but I can just put my universal on there. It goes all the way down to sixth. So that. That is what we're going to do. I'm gonna go walk to the truck and grab a motor. My motors are right here. There we are, 1075. Yep, it's good for third to six, so this one will have to work.
and it calls for a 7.5 capacitor. So I need a 35 at 7.5, which I'm not gonna have. So I'll probably just uh, use two separate capacitors instead of having to make a trip to the supply house. plug out that plug right there is very important to take out So the blade don't hit them. Yep. I keep that green Malco nut driver right there just for this because there's no hollow shafted drill one. Clockwise. Clockwise is yellow to yellow, purple. Okay, so we should be good.
Let's do the blade. Definitely need to come up a little bit. Probably to about right there somewhere. Get it a little tighter. Let's see where we at. That's a little too high. That's six inches. We need five and a quarter. So let's drop her down a little bit. Okay, maybe right there. Five. That's five and a half. That may have to work. Okay. That's right under five and a half and that's as low as I can go with it on this motor. So it'll work. It's close enough. Again, if y'all didn't hear me earlier, the OEM motor is no longer available. And nobody has that eighth horsepower in stock. So I'm going to leave these hanging out of the unit temporarily just to make sure it's spinning the right way. They will not stay that way. So all you super techs, don't get your, don't get your panties in a bunch. I was about to say something in French, but most of y'all wouldn't have understood that, so I didn't say it. Let me put a zip tie around this, because it keeps wanting to come undone. shaft hits the compressor so now I got to grind the shaft off Problem solved. Alright, it ain't gonna hit the uh, compressor no more. screws in it. Alright. 
unit is back together. That was definitely the original motor, no doubt about it. It still had the plug on it and everything. Well, I don't know. We might run to the supply house and get a capacitor. Well, because I don't have one, but we're not far from the supply houses, though. What time is it? Damn, I want... Oh, yeah, it's still early. All right, I'm going to run to the supply house and get a uh, 35-75. I'm not going to put two capacitors on here. Because we're extremely close to the supply houses. That's the only reason I'm going to do it. I mean, we're literally, I know a lot of people say five minutes a lot, but we're like literally maybe five minutes away from the damn supply house. So that's the only reason I'm going to do it. One there on the contactor. The other one here on the contactor. No, this is too short. I gotta make a new jumper. I wanna mount the capacitor upright. Alright, guys, I'm going to the supply house. Okay, I got our new capacitor, a 35 at 75. I forgot to get a jump along. Nice tight fit. And then the white striped one will eliminate it. And we'll put the solid brown on fan. Nice tight fit. Now I just gotta go get a jumper.
blue wire nut to cap it off because voltage will still pass through it. Alright, let me go get a red jumper wire. Look at that. It'll be a long time before I ever do that again. Find one just long enough with both with both ends already on it normally i find it i gotta cut it or i gotta add a spade but i mean this one is just well it's it's actually a little too long but i'm not gonna cut it because it's yeah i mean i gotta zip tie this stuff up anyway so i'll just zip tie it in there Okay, let's run this thing and see if she's spinning the right way. Oh, we put the disconnect in, that might help. Let's give her a shot now. There we are. All right, guys, she's spinning the right way now. Might not look like that to y'all because of the frames per second on the camera. The camera can't pick it up. Yep, the downward end is spinning. So yeah, we're good. All right, I'm going to tuck those wires away. All right, so we are loading this thing up with some refrigerant. Some RS44B, which is 453A. We're right at two pounds in because this thing was flat. So... I don't hear nothing leaking out here or nothing. I think it was, I think this unit's been down a while. I really do. It's kind of dirty right here. Looks a little oily too, but I don't hear nothing spewing. But he just wants to fix it. We put that one in over there, that Goodman. He bought it. Customer bought his own unit. We didn't supply the Goodman. He bought it himself. So, uh, we got our new capacitor in, 3575, got everything tidied up nice and neat. Now I'm just, I'm gonna start off with about four pounds, we're almost there. And then we're gonna start this thing back up.